Well, the weather for the whole of the south of England will continue as it has for the next few weeks. It's going to be hot and moist, with temperatures rising steadily as time goes on. There's a chance of steamy moments as we move into the... Ah, sod it. We never wanted to do this. We never wanted to be weathermen and women, making innuendos about hot atmospheres and drizzly countries. We didn't want to be child-friendly. We didn't want to bang on about being for over 18s only. We want to talk about our sexy adventures. We want to be lifestylers, leaping from bush to bush as we sail down the rivers of British sex clubs and mountains of crazy experiences. The cheeky purple mamba, the liquid silk pumped liberally into our hand, the rodeo classic brief harness complete with Tantus curve, the enjoy pure one stainless steel dildo, the hot octopus digit, the ever so short messages on fab swingers, the sexy friends on Twitter, and the mighty vanilla alternative. With my best girly by my side, we'd swing, swing, swing. Get in the gym or to your car. With our advice, you could go far. We fuck things up and we make mistakes. We talk about our sexy dates. It's getting hard for this to rhyme. Just as well, cause it's bed. Time. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Bed Hoppers podcast. My name is Mrs H. I'm Mr H. This is episode number... 129. I was going to do the nine bit. Well, you uh, can do the nine bit if you like. Nine. Number nine. <laughs> number nine. Number nine. Thank you for joining us today. We are going to talk about our Come Together event. We are. And we this are. is a thrilling turn of events. Me introing the first episode ever, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it really isn't. And I genuinely didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> For five minutes, Mrs. H has sat there just waving her hands in the air. I'm going to have to chuck it on the outtakes because she's not known what to say. <laughs> I thought we realised that no one could actually hear my hands waving. <laughs> <laughs> just like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, it makes me sound like I've got hands like dustbin lids. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Hagrid. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. Before we go into the Come Together event, I want to talk a little bit about what we've been up to. Oh my God. What have you been up to? We've mostly been dying in a ditch, feeling crap. Bubonic plague, I think. Yeah. We've not been feeling great for a couple of weeks. I'm blaming the... you entirely. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, do you think it was a case of swinger flu following <laughs> the event? <laughs> well, I know what it was because I'm clever. Oh, I see. And I've worked this out because right. I'm, I'm pretty clever okay. and I drink and I know stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think it's because we've spent two years basically wearing masks and protecting our lovely immune systems from the dreaded Rona, yeah. which, you know, was largely yeah, successful. Right thing to do. Mm -hmm. and right thing to do. And now all the restrictions have gone and most people are now not wearing masks as yep. much. Mm -hmm. And it's safe to say that we're all not social distancing in places of work and things like that. And I think our immune systems just took a right old kicking because they've now been exposed to just normal colds again. We haven't had a cold for like two years. And I then think. I have two in a row. Yeah, because, you know, one wasn't enough. <laughs> I know. This is this is like a real kick in the balls. Yeah. I mean, we did test and it wasn't Rona. No. Nope. Uh, it was just a normal cold, mm -hmm. but it felt like the Black Death, frankly. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> it did. We, we had it on, on the lead up to the to the event and it pretty much cleared up the day before, which yeah, is great. Yeah, it did. It was all good. Brilliant. Starting to feel more human, goes to the event. Yep. All good, 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 good. Then like four days later. Boom. Blah. I yeah. feel rubbish, man. Yeah, it attacked you first again, didn't it? Did. It did. It got me first. And I was joking it was swing flu yeah. because you'd been kissing all the ladies. But not as many people <laughs> as you. Lies. Nice. We'll come Sit on to that in a minute. on a throne of lies. <laughs> I said on a throne of accuracy and fact. Yes, well, I sat on a throne of kisses. <laughs> yes, you did. There you go. You admit it now. <laughs> However, you got some swing flu or yeah. whatever it was, bubonic plague. Mm -hmm. And then because you loved me so much, you passed it back on to me. We like to share everything now. Literally sharing <laughs> everything. So... Then I had it and um, we just spent the last two weeks just feeling like crud. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. So, you know, thanks for that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. Well, the good news is, is that we're feeling slightly more human every day, which is which yeah. is pretty good. I'm feeling a lot better because I'm ahead of this journey. Yeah, and I'm just a few days behind you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I think by the end of the week, you'll be feeling pretty good. 
but you oh, always yeah. feel good to me. Ah. So what else has been happening? It's our anniversary in a couple of days. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, in fact. Yeah, our 15-year wedding anniversary. I know, right? So this time 15 years ago, we were swanning around a beach in Mexico. Yeah, which is perfect, really. I know. And in a few weeks, we'll be swanning around a beach in... Oh, my God. There's not a we... beach. It's a pool. Going to bloody Peacap. <laughs> <laughs> bloody Peacap. Bloody well, Peacap. I can't believe it's a reality. It is, because almost three years ago, we were due to go to... The first one. The first one, and then Corona and everything got in the way, and life got in the way, and then we couldn't make the other ones because we couldn't get out of the country. But finally, we are set to go to the Peacap one in oh my God. June, right? Yes. So we're going on the 31st of May. Mm-hmm. And I think the event starts on the 3rd of June yep. through to the 6th of June. Mm-hmm. And it's in Palm Springs. Yeah. There's still an opportunity to come along. Yep. I mean, depending on when us. you're listening to this, if you're listening to well, this yeah, in the distant late. future, then, <laughs> you know, oh, well, such is life. But if you do want to come along and you're still in modern times, i.e. you're listening to this when it comes out, you can go grab tickets. In modern times. Yeah, modern times. Not super modern, modern future times. <laughs> Okay. With the flying cars and all that sort of shit. <laughs> this is if you're just living right now for the moment and you're listening to us. Perfect. Yes. Go grab a ticket. Come along. Because we'll be there. Yeah, we'll definitely be there for definitely a change. Definitely be yeah. there. This and time we're going to be there. We're really excited because it just doesn't feel credible at the moment. It's just like, oh my God, three years waiting for this. Yeah, I think it's because like the whole Rona thing knocked a lot of our plans out of the way and uh, there's been health scares. There's been all sorts of things that have happened to us over the course parents kicking the bucket there's I been know. strokes there's been god knows what else you know, like you pet illness it. you name Life it it's kind of happened but is. actually touch wood uh, everything is looking to be on track for us coming along to pcap and meeting some amazing people i might actually book some flights tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> genuinely and our costumes are starting to turn up yes that because we well. finally ordered them exactly i'm not going to be able to fit in any of them which is cool well, that's okay. Um, so I'm hoping for a belting case of dysentery between now and then, just to shed that last stone, which isn't going to happen. <laughs> well, I'll do my very best to provide you with some dysentery. I'll do everything that, within my power to help you on that mm, front. Thank you, dear. That's okay. So we're absolutely set to go to PCAP. We are. And? And? And oh my God, what else have we been all? up to? Is there more? Well, we actually made our way at some point through some miracle over the last few weeks to Le Boudoir. <gasps> oh, yes, we did. I don't remember what else we did. <laughs> the last two weeks have genuinely been a bit three, of a blur. The last three weeks three have weeks been like have been insane. So mm-hmm. we're not going to be talking about this particular visit on this particular show. No. We're going to be covering it in our next edition, next episode, whatever you want to call it, and talking about all the stuff that we got up to or didn't get up to. Or, or did get up to. Or did, or did not. Or oh, didn't we? oh, oh, what am I? What a mindfuck. Exactly. Because I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll be do- you know, I know you don't. We'll be talking about all that stuff in the next episode. But yes. this time around, we wanted to talk about our Vanilla Alternative Come Together event, where we took over Vanilla Alternative for the first few hours. And we came together. (laughs) And we came together. Yeah, we did. And then we were open up to the general public, then they could come Mm -hmm. to VA and have an amazing time. So we've been talking about this event for blooming ages. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to touch upon some of the stuff that went on, Mm -hmm. some of the gossip, some of the funny moments, some of the cool, sexy moments, what we do differently, and really then wrap it up and, and go back to feeling sorry for ourselves with our colds and getting oh. set for people. It's hard to feel sorry for us when we're jetting off to like California at some point in the very yeah, near but future. Yeah, still a few weeks away. <laughs> so much more can happen <laughs> so between now more. and then. Nothing so, more is going to happen, I swear. <laughs> the, the interesting thing about the, the, the this takeover event is that it wasn't near us. So previously we've run events and socials that have been down the road mm-hmm. and uh, people have been turning up the night before and catching up, and we've been able to catch up with some of those people. Because it's been local because to us. Because it's been yeah. local to us. And in this instance, we really didn't get the chance to do that because mm-hmm. uh, we wanted to make sure everything was set, everything was in place, and everything was going to be ready. And we didn't want the additional stress of travelling up the night before to Vanilla Alternative, hmm. which is a good couple of hours away from us. Yeah. But people were staying in nearby hotels. They were catching up. So my first sort of thought of of, of this lead in to... to to this event was like they're all doing stuff without me what i knew the hell? it you're fomo king aren't you well it's you all know, kicked in again didn't it's, it I, I don't think it's it's a massive amount of fomo it's that <laughs> it's the they're all having nice conversations they're all getting to know each and say all we're really talking about probably 15 or so people mm. but it was really really heartwarming to see that people were catching up they making were a weekend of it yeah, yeah and making yeah. a lovely weekend of it some people were using the, the time to chill out together and get themselves ready for the event some people were sort of getting to know other people so they wouldn't be nervous in advance. And that was really, really lovely. And I felt really proud of the community that we've created. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I was also jealous of those fuckers going in and doing that without us. But <laughs> it was it was a really nice feeling to know that they were all kind of gelling and getting on well and making friends because many of them hadn't met each other before. And this was all happening without us having to organise anything. Well, I think it would have also been nice to have extended the weekend and just caught up with people the night before anyway, because it just would have been nice to see faces two nights in a row, really. Well, I, and this is the this is the thing, though. I think, you know, there's, there was the organisation of it all, making sure it was all OK, the stress of that. We hadn't been feeling great in the lead up to it. No. So all this stuff was milling around. And also Kate and Daryl from Wanderlust Swingers were coming into the UK yeah. uh, early in advance of that. And they, they went to La Boudoir the mm, night before. Did. And you, you, you may have seen Kate's excellent YouTube video where she walks through La Boudoir, which mm -hmm. is really cool. They asked if we wanted to catch up with them. And honestly, I think, you know, and we did discuss it with Kate. I think we just got to a space where we were just stressed and we wanted to make sure that we were on absolute top form for when we actually turned up to the event. Because we, we'd done that before. We'd actually gone out the night before an event and gone to bed at like half three in the morning, up at nine, and then out, you know, that night. And that wasn't a great situation, if I'm really honest. So I did not feel like I was on top just form. Just a second, Mr. H. Am I learning here correctly for the first time that we are learning from our mistakes? <laughs> Maybe. Is this applied learning? <laughs> Maybe this is applied learning. Maybe it's like a, a, a combination <laughs> of things happening. But I... I really didn't want to be going to to um, to, 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 to VA and to <laughs> our event hanging. feeling absolutely hanging, especially when I had to do the drive yeah, for like two and a half hours or whatever it is beforehand. Yeah. So for me, it it was important that we got our rest, that we were chilled out, that we had everything in hand, that we knew everything that was going on, and that we were capable of dealing with any problems that arose during the day because there was always a risk. Yeah. of people having issues or dropping out or whatever so that we could handle that in the right way. Plus, I hadn't decided what to wear. Yeah, you were still running around doing that. I had a last minute change of outfit, to be fair. So Yes, you did. But and it was a very good one. Well, thank you very much. You look pretty all right, too. You know, oh, pretty and you. all right. Ooh. So we made our way the following sort of morning to get there for, for, for lunchtime. We'll get to the area of, of VA for lunchtime. And the reason for that was we wanted to not only be there as soon as we could get in, which was a lot earlier than normal, mm -hmm. considering that we were opening the doors a lot, a lot yeah, earlier than normal. Yeah, but we also wanted a chance to catch up with the lovely Kate and Daryl from the Wonderlust Swingers because we hadn't seen them in ages. I want to see how bad her hangover was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's fair to say that she had a little bit of a hangover. <laughs> she did. And it, it, honestly, it was so lovely seeing them. It was also interesting watching Daryl spill an entire smoothie over himself. Oh, poor Daryl. <laughs> and then walk down the streets of the local local town or whatever yeah. it was, looking like he jizzed everywhere <clears> because it just left a wonderfully bad stain all over and him. And the look on that guy's face that was sat at the table behind us, who listened to the entire conversation for the two hours we were in there. And he, I was, he was like, he's not going to leave. He just wants to hear more. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a chap just sat behind us and he was just, just a random person in the place where we were, where we were sat. <laughs> But he was getting the best of the conversation. So he, he was really, really was. enjoying all of the random nonsense that we were talking about, from their adventures in, in Le Boudoir to, mm. to the different clubs we'd been in and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And he was just sat there hanging on every word. He basically got a free podcast. He did he? really get live. a live. Yeah, a really wonderful... A live collaboration of Wanderlust yeah. and Bedhoppers. And Daryl Stories. In a really they were always nice fantastic. little lunch place. Yeah, it, it worked really, really well. So it was absolutely a delight to, mm. to catch up with them and have a nice conversation with them. And really sort of just ease ourselves into the in, into the club because we travelled over there and they followed us in the car or mm -hmm. we both just sat in a, whatever way around it is. Yeah. We turned up and we got there and people that we knew were already, that were staying in the place. We weren't the, the first to arrive. We weren't the first to oh arrive. We were already there and they we were must getting have been out of the keen, car. Really keen. Yeah, people were keen. Yeah. But that's really cool. I love the fact yeah, that. Yeah, I love everyone was excited to get there. Able to have these little sort of conversations and these little sort of welcoming moments as all our friends turned up mm. one by one. Yeah. Well, maybe pair by pair. Yeah. You know, that's probably fairer, I suppose. <sighs> but they were all starting to show up. Oh, no, not all at once, but little bit by little bit, because yeah. we were there with a few hours to spare mm -hmm. um, as we started to get ready. And it was great. Secret Stag and Secret Vixen, you know, insert Claxon here. <laughs> they showed up and it was cool because they'd never been there before. Neither had Kate and Daryl, so we were able to show them the the rooms, where they're at, all this kind of cool stuff. And then while we were getting ready, because mm -hmm. it's always nice once, you know, I, I got in and got ready pretty quick. Yeah, all right. Humble brag. Well, it's, but, you know, I don't We did have a nice little room picnic, though. We had a little we? room picnic, which was really lovely. Room champagne. Room champagne, because it's rude not to, really. Yeah. 
Then I was able to wander around VA with Kate and Daryl. Oh, of course, yeah. And filmed a little video with them. And I was the a little bit jealous I didn't get to. I was given the opportunity to get involved, but I had some getting ready to do because I wanted to make myself look wonderful. What made me laugh is that Kate said to you, oh, do you want to be in the video? Uh, and you were like, oh, yeah, that'll be great. I did. And, and then did. she said when you needed to be ready by. It's like, no. And you were like, nah. That's not going to happen. That's not, never going to. No. And then you went, maybe. And I'm like, no fucking no. way. You're going to be ready by that point. <laughs> It was in prime getting ready time. It it really was prime getting ready time. Yeah. But it was really cool. So we got to tour around the club while there was no one there, or I did, and Kate did, and Daryl did, but he didn't. Sorry about that. But at some point, I believe she's releasing a video that's going to be showing what's mm-hmm. going on. Uh, I get to hang around and sit on some furniture and talk Yeah, what were you doing? Were you just like rolling around couches and stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Were you genuinely? Yeah. You absolute child. Yeah, of course I'm going to. Uh, there's a, Why does it not surprise me? Yeah, I, I don't know what's going to make the edit, though. So, you know, there, there could be some genius material or, uh, you know, if it's not on there, then it's definitely edited out. <laughs> Probably for good reasons <laughs> Did the club as well. cat turn up? No, we did see uh, there were some dogs in there yeah. earlier on because they were all sorting out and we, we had to come in through the kitchen mm. at VA and we could see all of the food that they were preparing for our guests, which was fantastic. And that was all set aside and ready, ready to go for when, when they showed up. And they were doing all their tidying up and cleaning and making sure everything was on point, which is really, really cool. But there were a couple of dogs in there, which was, which was fabulous. Although the, the resident cat did make an appearance later in the evening. Well, I'm, you know, you, you knew that was going to happen. So I was so excited when he turned up. But it was really nice meeting <laughs> uh, Kim and Jules and all yeah. the other people that were there and, and getting to know them a little bit more while, while we had this quiet time and we were filming the video. I think everyone was trying to keep out of the way of us because <laughs> there's nothing like shoving a camera in someone's face to make them dive, dive out of the way, which was uh, mm. just the way it was, I think. So we got back to the room yeah, and it was pretty much time to rock and roll. There was a little bit of having a drink and catching up with um, Naughty and Rocket. Oh. So exciting that they came down. Catching up with Secret Stag and Secret yeah. Vixen with Kate and Daryl. And then literally it was time to, time to go downstairs. It I, was th- I thought we'd be going down there like half an hour beforehand and being all calm and collected when people rocked up. But no, we were actually on the last minute. Well, it was like five, ten minutes to go, yeah. I think. And we got downstairs and there were, were already, already people, <laughs> people in there. We're like, holy shit, these, they, have, they have been very efficient. They're Aww. all chilling out. So we did our sort of duty of handing out um, bedhoppers badges mm. because uh, when we do an event, we like to have a badge that we can give away or a trinket that that kind of recognises the fact that you've been to this thing and people seem to enjoy them, I hope. They yeah. seem to break them pretty quickly, but that's probably a mark of the quality of the badges that we've had produced more than anything well, else. Well, you know what? The next like hour and a half to two hours for me were an absolute blur. Uh, like, 100%. I, can, I can remember it. It's just a blur in terms of I lost count of how many people I... Greeted, hugged, said hello to. People were just coming in in droves and it was amazing, but also staggering to see that many people just coming in. Well, I think we we had, I think, close to 100 people. I think a couple of people dropped out yeah. at the end. So it was, it was just shy of 100. Mm. But it, and, and they were all in pretty much within an hour. Yeah. Um, not, not that it was queuing outside. It was, no, no, it was as like a stream of people. It was literally. a constant we didn't stop, stream did of we? people. And, you know, I, I was stood by the doorway. You were for a bit. And then we sort of, in the end, we had to sort of separate. Yeah. So just, just to welcome people in and, and keep up with the flow of traffic. And do you know what? It was absolutely amazing to see so many people. And, and as, as ever, my big regret is that I just didn't get time to chat with them all. Mm. And, you know, they were, they were coming in and it was like, oh, nice, nice to see you, meet you. Yeah. Hello. Next person, please. And then I was trying to tell people where all the facilities were and the, the guy that, that does the tours. He was being really helpful in doing some of the tours. Oh, he was an angel. He's amazing. And mm, I mean, he was I, doing some tours. He yeah. was doing some tours. I did a tour right at the start. I know. And I think that's right at the very start. It was it was so we had a few minutes of quiet. When, when the first tranche of people came through. So I, I took them around, gave them the tour, and that was really lovely. Mm-hmm. And then by the time I got back, I was like, holy shit, there's more people here. I yeah. can't do all these tours. Come over here, fella, can you take these people on tour? Hello, 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 hello. And it was just for, honestly, it felt like for two hours, two and a half hours, it was just constant, constant it was. It was a sea talking of people. and saying hello and trying to, because I, I want everyone to feel like they're welcome at the event, like they're going to have a good time, like they've had a chance to say hello if they want to say hello to us. And, and try and introduce them to other people. But there's only so much you can do. And it just went like like that, just so quick. Well, the problem was as people were coming in and we were stopping to say hello as you do, other people came in and carried on coming in. 
So we didn't get a chance to stop and say hi to every single person because they were just coming in in floods, weren't they? Yeah, it was it was absolutely crazy. The good thing was that um, after about an hour or so, then they they brought out the food and the food was fantastic, actually. Fair play. To VA, I want to say a huge thank you. They did a really good job yeah, on the night. Tremendous. And and they were really helpful. But the food was great. The bar staff were on top of it. Everyone had a drink as they came in. Yeah. It, honestly, it worked like total clockwork. But the great thing about the food was is that it did slow everybody down a little bit because <laughs> they, they were all just buzzing around, but people were taking time out to grab a bite to eat. Mm. And that meant you could grab you know grab and say hello to people while you were stood there. Yeah. And I mean, I didn't eat anywhere near as much as I probably should no, have. No, I didn't. Because I was, well, just, I was just busy chatting. Yeah, yeah. and I, I honestly, I didn't, I didn't have a, didn't not have a glass in my hand at some point. People were replacing yeah. my drinks without me having it to even really think lovely, about it. Isn't it. People were fantastic, and again, and this honestly, I, I'm so touched, and 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 in many ways, but but particularly <laughs> around people came in and they brought us presents, and I don't expect that. I, gen, I'm not, I don't. And don't no, expect people to come along mean. and have presents for us. But they're also personal and, you know, some some people got us a towel with, with our face on it or my face on it. We had pineapple glasses. We had gifts for the pets. I was uh, we, so touched that the pets had some just, um, little treats. That's we adorable. Thank you cards. And honestly, the, the thing is, is that on the night, you, you're just, you're absolutely in, in trying to make sure that everyone yeah. can be hosted and have a good time and that everyone settles in particularly for that, those first few hours where it's our, our event and it's not open to everybody. Yeah. And people hand you stuff and it's, it's just amazing and, and you're very grateful, but we don't really get a chance to have a look at it. No, until we don't until the next day when we've got day, some really. time to ourselves. But we want to say a huge thank you yeah. to everyone who took the time to gift us something little or, or, or whatever, really, just to take time to sort of say hi and make sure that we were okay as well. It was really touching. It's, thank you. I mean, we had treats, we had sweets, yeah. we had... Honestly, it was just incredibly touching and I'm still not, I, I, I'm not expecting it. I'm not used to it. And genuinely, we sat there the next day having a look at our presence and we were welling up because it was just so wonderful that people had gone the extra mile to to do these things for us. We had, um, oh, I have to point, I have to say this. We had some wrapping paper for some of the presents, which was absolutely amazing. <laughs> so very thoughtfully. Um, one of my gifts was wrapped in labyrinth wrapping paper. Your eyes can be so <laughs> cruel. If only it was a Goblin King, but it wasn't. It was a worm. Hang on a second. You yeah. did get a Goblin King as a present. No, I know. I was going to go on to that. Oh, okay. Spoiler, yeah, spoiler alert. alert. Yes, all right. But the paper was the worm. Okay, the worm. Like the little worm. Hello. Yeah, that one. So, Just the worm. Yeah, the one that, that says, worm. come and have a cup of tea. Yeah, okay. Misses. All right. And what but was inside But you got some it? wrapping paper as uh, well. Yes, I did get Don't some forget. wrapping paper, yes. <laughs> but what was inside my gift... Um, was oh my goodness so we had some lovely joint presents with lots of little lovely treat sweet treats and things yeah but then inside my gift was a gorgeous print of the goblin king and sarah from labyrinth oh really it was a, it was gorgeous <laughs> but the wrapping paper hilariously for that gift was um from the lovely max and mabel and it was aimed at you <laughs> because <laughs> it was all sorts of amazing euphemisms for cock yeah there we go all over the wrapping paper so, <laughs> so you get a picture <laughs> yes. and i get some paper you got the wrapping paper that, that just caused me a cock in many many different ways it was, wasn't calling I you wasn't calling a me a cock it was it just was... giving me different names for cock yes like schlong and okay. penis hey, you're gonna be here a while now just naming i can them. only remember three okay but they were great and i was really touched by the wrapping paper <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Once again. I, honestly, I, I was so incredibly moved by all of the presents and I really didn't expect it, as I've said. So, and I think that goes for both of us. We want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who, who not only came along, but but also gave us a gift of some sort because, it, and there's far too many, <laughs> fart, um, uh, to mention, but genuinely they were all wonderful and and. We, we just had a really wonderful time opening them and, and reliving the whole night again. Like a lifestyle birthday. <laughs> it was. It was a, like a lifestyle birthday. So going back to the event, right? Yes. Okay. So the first thing I want to bring up. So people have arrived, they're having food, we're chatting around. We've not managed to talk to everybody. No. But someone that entered a little later into the arena. Okay. Was wearing something very similar 
to what you are wearing. Oh my fucking days. <laughs> let's take let's take an hour to discuss this one, shall we? Let's let's not. Let's merely brush up on this. Do you want me this. to nonchalantly brush over it in what three minutes? Yeah, you've got a couple of minutes to to talk to about rant this. Yeah, about yeah. this. Yeah, go for it. My old nemesis, <laughs> <laughs> the nemesis who thwarted me at the first social. Da, 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 and then the water me once again in the second social. Pipe down. With your penny lanes. <laughs> the, th- the second social, when um, I do believe she exposed her breasts in front of the, the staff for the aid of a picture with someone else, granted. Okay. Right. But all I'm going right. to throw her under the bus for that. Are you throwing her under the bus completely yeah, now? I'm okay. just going to bring it all out. Okay, all right. And also, I believe, wore the same outfit as someone else at that social. Yes, okay. Yeah. Not only that, turns up at this social. But it's wearing, not a social, it was an event. All right, an event. Yeah, Even right. worse then, wearing the same fucking dress as the host. As you, Myself, not me, not me. You. Me, all right. moi. So Penny Lane <laughs> arrived, and they came a little bit later because she had to work, yeah. didn't she, during the day. And as she came down uh-huh. through the stairs or whatever, she was wearing the same dress exact, as you. The, the exact same, same dress. Same dress. Yes. Yep. Multiple but, people spotted this, and I swear, backed away. <laughs> <laughs> what made me laugh, right? Because mm-hmm. because when she when you caught up with, her, I think I'd caught up with her first. She immediately, having seen that you were wearing the same dress, right, threw me under the bus. Well, Mr. H, <laughs> shall I tell you what immediately happened on her arrival? Please do. According to the illustrious Miss Penny Lane. Yeah, please do. She tells me that you immediately made out with her. Yeah. Well, it was what? a nice dress. What? what? <laughs> Don't have enough expletives right now, which is unusual for me. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, she immediately threw under the bus, sir, and said, "Well, well, he immediately made out with me." Like, as if to say, whoa, he's like, well, you know, never mind the dress. What about your husband? Like, kissing women. Well, mm-hmm. and, and this is the thing, which, which leads me nicely into the next, the right. next thing that I uh-huh. want to talk about. So, like, moving away from the dress, that's just an unfortunate oh, thing. the dress, just to go back. Okay. Um, just in case anyone wants to know, it's from Blue Bella. Okay. Because every man and his dog wants to buy it now. I think everyone has bought it <laughs> now. This is, this is fantastic. Blue so. Bella must be absolutely... Why is everyone buying this dress that's been on sale already for like two years? <laughs> You're welcome, Blue Bella. So talking of kissing, right? Mm-hmm. One of your big concerns was that before we well, before we got to the event or before we went to the event, yeah. that I was going to be disappearing into crowds of uh, adorning women and making out with yeah. them, all, right? I thought you'd disappear into the crowd like some Muppet and I'd only be able to see the top of your head and you just like throwing yourself around now i want to clear my good name on this front because you never had a good name i did i had a very good name (laughs) despite the fact that i hate my actual name well i took your name because i loved you so well that's that's wonderful (laughs) but did i do that did i disappear into a crowd well you disappeared at some point but well i was talking to the people i was hosting i was professionally hosting people if that's what you call it this is absolutely true (laughs) absolutely true hosting but Wheeling it back into the kissing thing. Uh-huh. Now, I want, I want to put this out there that mm. you kissed more people than I did. Is it the a lie, sir? Is this true? Is it not true? <laughs> we did the math and I didn't kiss very many people. Come on, I this want is to put better than the Johnny Depp trial. Yeah, this is. This <laughs> Objection. Is much... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I didn't kiss many people, but you kissed more people than I did. Counter sustained. <laughs> Shut up, Amber Turd. <laughs> Richard the Turd. <laughs> That's right. So on on sort of reflection of the mm-hmm. evening, when Mrs. H was um Jacques Mr. H to me, we actually worked out that she had kissed more people than I did. Oh really? Yes. Is this science? Is this science? Do you have witnesses? I have technology, I have witnesses. You have technology. Yeah, I do. I have... Witness statements, no doubt. Yes, oh. I do. We, we have all the witness statements. We know exactly what happened and who it happened with. And it transpires that mm. you disappeared into a sea of kisses on that night instead of I. I don't think there was a sea. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. <laughs> However, I concur, I may have kissed some people. Okay, so I, I just want gentle listeners to understand uh-huh. that my good name has now been cleared. Well, I don't know about that. I accept your, <laughs> accept your apology. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel I owe you an apology. Oh, 
Don't give me a Mrs. H apology. Those things are not worth the paper they're written on. <laughs> I've never bullshit. written one down either. Exactly that. So talking about kissing, right? Mm. So that, that happened. So there were some kisses exchanged throughout the course of the evening, which was wonderful. But at a certain point, we, we sat in, or you were sat on the, the big bed that's in the sort of corridor area. And I know so, it sounds wonderfully romantic. No, no. There's, um, there's a little section of... Well, it is a kind of passageway, I suppose, but they've made a really good use of that by putting a, a really great big round bed sort of right in the middle of yeah. that. And from that, you can see into the wet area and look at the, the beds kind of off to that area. And you can also see the bar and you can also look down the other way, I think, and see. It's a really good vantage point. It's like a thoroughfare. Yeah. But at the same point, it's like set back enough so that you're not in the way. And you're on a big bed as well. And you're on a big bed. So you're comfy. You are within arm's reach of food. <laughs> I was. I didn't was... even eat much. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you were sat there for a good chunk of the evening. Yeah, right? it was great. What, what did you get up to while you were there? There was some stuff. They were like, so what sort of stuff? Tell us. Well, originally I sat on the bed because it was a re- relief to not stand up anymore because i think we'd, we'd gone through i think what, what i would say is our hosting duty yeah it'd been, or the a, couple hosting hours, it'd been a good least. couple of hours and i think we were starting to sort of relax and get into the frame line of just generally catching up with yeah people and i ditched my shoes stuff. because frankly that was yeah not gonna happen <laughs> okay all right so i sat on this lovely round bed and on that round bed was the ever lovely lord voldemort mm-hmm. of his cock her tail fame yeah and his lovely wife, Vanilla Ice. Yeah. So they were there on the bed and we were just, honestly, we were chatting just for ages. Mm-hmm. And not just to them, like people were just coming and going and joining in the conversation. And then it was a really lovely area to kind of mingle because yeah. it was that thoroughfare where people stopped and went, oh, hey, it's you guys. And they'd sit on the bed and have a chat. So there was probably about six or seven people all kind of congregated around that area, Get, you know, coming and going. Um, Daryl was there for a while. Bless him, he kept bringing me some drinks and um, and then Kate joined us. You were kind of bobbing around here and there. I could see you going in and out of like various I think I was and... still on hosting duty oh, for yeah, a bit were longer than... Talk- you were talking, but you were standing and I was sitting because yeah. I was lazy. So. <laughs> cool. uh, yeah, so I, I did that for a while. And then I think at one point you then went back towards the bar area because I lost sight of you. But it was the same group of people were still kind of coming and going. Yeah. And... Yeah, then one of those kisses might have happened. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've, we've Lord Voldemort. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like yeah. That, is it? We were just right. reminiscing, you know, about the good times. And uh, may have shared a kiss or two. Really? I reckon it was the playlist that did it. Uh, it wasn't DuckTales, I can assure you. What? <laughs> <laughs> the most romantic of all Bedhopper's playlist songs. Um, well, it was really lovely to sort of reconnect with him a little bit and uh, Vanilla Ice because we were, we, we were the ones constantly sort of in the middle of that bed just chatting and then occasionally we'd kind of just like chat amongst ourselves again have a little kiss it was lovely and then and then I believe you came back over Mm -hmm. and Kate and Daryl were also on the bed with us okay what happened then yeah and then I asked Kate if I could kiss her okay Hmm. and she went no No, fuck off mate Really? <laughs> Bloody digger deviants. <laughs> I'm quite sure she doesn't sound like that. <laughs> and I'm quite sure she wouldn't have said that either. <laughs> I'm quite sure she wouldn't have she said would that. She would never have called me a digger deviant. <laughs> <laughs> also, can you spell that for me and use it in a sentence? No, no idea. I'm just, I, I don't even know what it is. It's just from Monty Python and stuck permanently in my head. So apologies if it's offensive. It's probably one of those words that like you spiel out every now and then that are clearly very offensive and have their root in some ancient <laughs> horrific thing but that, that I've had in my head since listening to Monty Python records as a child. But I'm fairly sure earlier in the evening I'd, I'd said to Daryl that, I mean, if he carried on plying me with drinks and never leaving me, you know, without a drink, I'm like, well, this is cool. Maybe I repay you in kind through the night. And he was like, yes. There was some sort of, I'm sure there was some sort of blowjobby and offer for drinks going Wait, on. Wait, is that like a Shakespearean thing? Yeah, some blowjobby and... blowjobby and offer. Yes. The blowjobby and <laughs> contract. The erstwhile lady imparts upon to him a blowjobby and worthy of Shakespeare. Yes, in exchange for many drinketh. <laughs> yeah, I might have said that. Something along those lines, I see. I think I said I would have been disappointed if the evening didn't in- include me giving him a blowjob at some point. And he was very amenable. I'm sure, he's, I'm sure he was absolutely... He really was. Absolutely yeah. fine with that. <laughs> so we uh, we kind of settled on the bed, I think, in a, a little bit of a, a play situation started happening there between the four of us, um, me and Kate and you and Daryl. What? Yeah. 
me and Kate and you and Daryl. No, 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 not like that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> I'm going to re- rephrase that. The four of us were just mingling around and playing on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking a very different turn and not one no, that I recall, no, if no, I'm really no, honest. No, I, it, no, 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 uh, to be honest, it, it was an interesting one because I, I did have to take my own advice on this because I, I saw you make out with Kate, probably missed the first six times that it happened, knowing wow. knowing you. I, wow. According to you, I had like 20 million kisses. You probably yeah. did. But, you know, I don't doubt it at all. I witnessed a fair few of them. <laughs> but, I you know, I was kind of like, well, I want to be involved in this situation. Shocker. I, I know, but I, it's been interesting <laughs> in that I think there's there's been a... A, a long time since we've seen them, since mm. we've really sort of engaged with them. And I kind of, I find Kate very hard to read sometimes. I and mean, she'll be the first person to say that sometimes that's the case. So I, I wasn't sure whether she was kind of into it or not. Ah, uh, Mr. H and his, I can't tell if people are into me or not. Well, this is the thing. And I think this is going to be a topic uh, amongst other things, sort of, that we're going to cover in another, uh, another yes episode. Is. Yeah, because we, Yeah, because we <laughs> we've had a real... get inside your head. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. There's, no one has ever found their way out again. But, I, you know, I think there is a there is a thing around my own self-confidence and self-worth and the, I, I guess, the mask I wear as Mr. H from the Bedhoppers as well. So there's like a false, pretentious person, and that's just regular me. Mr. H is that on crack. So I, <laughs> I kind of, I was like, well, I kind of want to be part of this. But I have to be brave and I have to ask. Much like we talked about in, in our, with the in our, you know, with our yeah. last, last episode. Because I think, mm-hmm. you know, I, I kind of wasn't sure and I, I wasn't picking up on the signals. And that, that could be just me just not reading it and being in the middle of this event. And, and so actually, I, I, I did ask. And fortunately, she was amenable to such suggestions. So this was Schrodinger's Kate? Yes. <laughs> fortunately, <laughs> the Kate was not dead. <laughs> And you did get to play with the Kate. I, I did get to play with the Kate. But it, it, we started sort of making out and sort of, I, I guess, um, it very quickly evolved in, into some heavy petting, I, yeah. I guess is the nicest there was way. There lots it. of stuff going but, on. But what was really strange is that we're in a fucking through fair, yeah. or thoroughfare or a passageway or a corridor, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Bed in a foyer. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, oh, this is, and I looked up and there was a little bit of a. Yeah, there was a crowd. A, a, a crowd going on. And and I don't, I wouldn't say that we were the first people to play no, by, God, by a long no. stretch, but we weren't, we weren't late in playing. If and you know we what weren't I mean. tucked I away anywhere private either. No, no, we were very much out in the open in front of the buffet, sort of getting it on. I don't people know whether the buffet. People could have passed us some spring rolls, but they no. Could, no one passed us spring rolls. <laughs> to be fair, I think the buffet probably had been shifted along by this point, possibly, but I could, couldn't neither confirm nor deny such rumours. But we were all starting to, to, to play and, and then... I think you suggested that we were going to go into the hot tub or something. Um, there was some talk of hot tubs and I decided we should go upstairs and get towels. Yes. and Wink. Well, I, didn't, <laughs> I did not receive the wink. It wasn't a bloody wink. It was an implied wink. I, well, Let's was, go upstairs and get towels. I genuinely, I was like, hot tub, hot tub, hot tub, hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Really? T-. Genuinely. How do you not read these signs? Because I don't. I, because... Not only do you know me really well for over two decades... But also, hello, semi-naked women, yes, women in yes. front of you going, hey, let's go to the room and get towels, wink, etc. Well, I, and I, I, I did wonder because I didn't know whether this, <laughs> but, but, but this, I didn't know whether it was said for the benefit of the, the adorning public that <laughs> stood around us, like, hey, we're just going to get some towels, we'll be right back. And which, which sure. I was like, this sounds right. like a good... Hey, we could go upstairs and have some fun times, uh-huh. but at the same point, I'm going hot tub, hot gonna tub, get my hot towel. tub, gonna get my towel on. <laughs> so I did not, did not necessarily assume that there was going to be some sexy oh, times involved. Oh, you're adorable. Thank you. I um, do try. And I just don't get that, but adorable, yes. I, I, it's, I'm a strange <laughs> little person. And if you've not figured this out, gentle listener, by now, then, you know, I, I don't, I, honestly, I don't want to ever assume. And I, because there wasn't an explicit moment where this was said and pointed out to me, I kind of didn't assume that that was what, what was going to be on the cards. As it transpires, I very seamlessly transitioned from being hot tub, hot tub, hot tub, to, hey, this is really hot sex, sex, I'm going to put my towel down now. <laughs> yeah. And and it was really nice to, to play with them both mm-hmm. and to interact with them and have some sexy times. And I mean, it, was, it, was, it was quite interesting, actually. At one point, you and Daryl were just watching Kate and I do our thing. 
Oh, yeah, we went and sat on the, the settee and watched you on the bed. There was no Mexican wave, so I do wish to register I mean, we'd already finished round one by this point. Oh, okay, so yeah. we retreated for a six-minute uh, <laughs> interlude. interval. Interlude. And then no, four-minute interval. <laughs> I mean, that, that man has, I mean, I have a, a pretty quick refractory, but that man's like, <laughs> snap, ready to go again. Oh, yeah, he was back. He was back, like, in, in, in yeah. moments. So, I mean, it was a really, it was kind of a bit sort of wham-bam, thank you, ma'am, moment. And what I didn't know, but what I found out later, <laughs> is that at one point, thinking that we'd gone to get towels and disappeared, the lovely secret vixen came looking for us. Because she wanted to borrow a she towel, want, it seems. She wanted either a towel or was like, where, where are they gone? Wandered into the room. I, I didn't see her. I didn't no, know I didn't. And so I don't know whether Kate and Daryl did, but wandered straight in with, with apparently us being, and the only <laughs> phrase she'll use, I think, is entertained. <laughs> so Christ knows what the hell she saw. I, she sounds damaged having seen it. Oh, <laughs> that's because she's very sweet and innocent. She's very sweet and very innocent, of course. Yeah. And I think she's Zoidberg woo, 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 <laughs> her way out of there. Pretty sharpish. <laughs> I don't know if she came back and told Secret Stag what was going on. I don't I know what the deal was. Probably did. But it was quite funny in that we had no fucking idea this happened until we no. caught up with them sort of days afterwards. Yeah. And this, this spilled out as a, as a thing. So we didn't get towels, right, did we? Uh, not right then. Not right then. And Well, actually, maybe we did after that. <laughs> okay, all right. So then I think Kate and Daryl decided they were going to go back to bed. Yeah, because they'd that, had a heavy night the night before uh, as well. Heavy nights. They'd travelled quite far. Yeah. So I think they, they went off to, to bed. Not necessarily for sleepy times, one assumes, but, you know, Either I'm way. sure they'll, they'll tell us about that on their podcast at some point in the very near future, if not already now. So we then went out and mm -hmm. went into the club, back back down into the club. Okay. Yes, we did. Yes. Yes, we did. And I think we were then looking to catch up with people and just see what's going on. Yeah. So we had a bit of a nose around, had a little yeah. bit of a chat. And we did notice that, that we couldn't find Secret Stag and Secret Vixen. Yes, that's correct. So we did a bit of a tour of the club and then we were wondering what had happened to them. And bear so, in mind, it was already quite yeah. late at this point. Yeah. Another sort of 40 minutes had gone past. So we kind of decided to just see if we were okay and go and find them. Yeah, so we thought we'd head back up to the rooms upstairs, <laughs> knocked on the door to see if they were all right, not even thinking that they would be engaged in doing anything. <laughs> and it transpires they were midway through having some naughty times as well. Yeah, but their door was open. So. Well, it wasn't open. It was well, just, you know what I mean? It was yeah, unlocked. They opened it very quickly. They did. And then we had some sexy times with them. <laughs> <laughs> Coitus interrupters turn into coitus joiners. <laughs> it, it did. It turned into a really sort of um, spontaneous little, oh, you guys are doing this. Um, and they're like, do you want to join us? And it was great. So we had some sexy times. Basically, yeah. <laughs> at this point, <laughs> at this point, I, I put my foot down and say, we're going to the hot tub. Let's go to the hot tub. So all this time you basically just wanted to get in the hot tub. Well, no, it was a, it was a long, convoluted uh -huh. it really was. journey towards the the hot tub. The hot tub. The holy grail. Yeah. See, I wasn't even remotely fussed about going in the hot tub. I, I wanted to go in the hot tub. I, I know I think, you did. <laughs> I think there was something quite... One of the things that I find that makes VA different mm -hmm. um, is, is, is the hot tub itself. And I think it's because it's this sort of big social... I mean, it's not a small thing by any stretch of the imagination. No, it's a nice one Everyone well. hangs around in there. And it's like a mini version of what you had in Desire in that everyone's chilled out on the pool and everyone's kind of... You know, they got their drinks or whatever, and everyone's just having a chat. And it's a much more relaxed, it's a less sort of, I am fuck place. Well, I think at some points that it probably does turn into the I am fuck it, it does, carousel, but most... because it's, it's heavily populated at some points in the evening, for sure. But it, most of the time, it's, it seems to be, it, sure, it's sexy and it's flirty and it's fun, but it seems like a nice, cool place to hang around. And, and things mm. escalate and de-escalate oh, yeah, around do. you. But it... For the most part, to me, it feels like a quite a, a safe spot and a safe place. Mm -hmm. And I, w I was absolutely aware that, that Secret Stag was going to get in that hot tub regardless yeah, of what Yeah, that man's like a bloody magnet for pink eye, though, isn't he? He is. I I'm going to get in the hot tub and I'm going to put my head in the water. He did put his head underwater. I'm not sure Full. whether he's, whether he's grown a new, new head or a quaid-like body eye. or a, <laughs> an extra arm or something. But actually, it was really nice just to hang around with folks and have a few conversations. Yeah. And a few people were at this point starting to leave. So people were coming in and, and saying goodbye. Yeah, it must have been about one-ish. Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, it was getting late and it definitely sort of spaced out in there a little bit and it wasn't it wasn't super busy, so I wasn't put off by going in there at this stage. Yeah. That's nice. So we, we went in there with a little group of us and we just bobbed around and had a little chat. Yeah. <laughs> It was. I think what was really cool is that as as people were going, they were they were coming over and saying their goodbyes, and if people were just chilling out mm. and settling down and sort of entering into that final phase of the mm-hmm. evening, they were just getting into the pool and just hanging around with us. Yeah, and that's the bit I really, you know, I, I really value. Not that the sexy times aren't amazing and aren't fun and and all this sort of stuff, but the the the, the everyone just breathes and not breathes, breathes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you and, do and not want that sentence synonymous with the hot tub. No, not in the hot tub. <laughs> but just has that moment where they can sort of be themselves. And it feels that that's when people are at the most authentic, but possibly because they're naked, possibly because they've had the night to yeah. go through. They're probably over the nerves and all that sort of stuff by, by then. And, and it's just a, ah, here we are. And that's just... Yeah, it's, it's a nice place yeah. to get into, for sure. Um, I'm not a fan of getting in it at the beginning of a night because... Uh, makeup, etc. I kind of like to at least see that through for part of a night. No, I get that. I'm quite happy to go in towards the end of a night, and then I'm I'm not too bothered about having to get undressed and then shower and all that. So yeah, it's quite a nice way to end the night. But the problem is, once I get in it at that stage, then I get the, the tiredness hits me like a ton of bricks halfway through. Yeah, because I'm then in the hot tub and I've already had a long night, and then before I know, it, I'm like. Whoa! I mean, now I'm tired. <laughs> it does do that to you. It does kind of knock you out. And I suddenly realised how hungry I was because I just don't think we'd really eaten much. No, we'd kind of had a little bit of a bite to eat before we'd come downstairs. We'd had a, the odd bite to eat along the way, and I think mm. we we but we hadn't really sat down and ate, eat, eaten properly. No. So we actually went upstairs with with Secret Stag and Secret Vixen. Yeah. And had a bit, little bit of a room picnic, right? Yeah, and and little midnight picnic. It wasn't midnight. But <laughs> a free going to bed picnic just to reconnect at the end of the night and just swap some stories. And we had a little bit of French bread with some goat's cheese on. It was all very lovely. So, so yeah, I think we kind of, we, we sat down, had, had the nice cheese and bread, had a few crisps and just really decompressed a little bit. And I think we were absolutely buzzing from the, from the day. Mm. And the adrenaline that you go through or that courses through your veins sort of in the lead up to this. And that sustains you through the mm. through this sort of initial hosting piece onto the the excitement of the these amazing sexy connections because you know it was a real a real rush throughout the evening and and then you get to bed and you're like holy crap this was yeah. like <laughs> this was such an amazing night and you know I don't you know we didn't even make it to to the very end of the club we didn't get to the point where they turned the lights out we quite sensibly sort of said okay we've kind of got to the point where we've had enough we we need to stop everything and shut everything down yeah. and 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 that's exactly what we did yeah i was super impressed we didn't drink crazy amounts or anything um i mean i i certainly didn't not have a drink all night but i also didn't drink loads yeah i think i didn't go to bed feeling like ass <laughs> <laughs> you went to bed feeling ass but not feeling like no ass. i didn't go to bed feeling crap or anything i just went to bed like a bit buzzing but couldn't really switch off but at the same time i was like okay I'm okay, I just need to I need to reset and try and go to sleep now. So the following day was was absolutely lovely and in, in mm. that pretty early on in the morning, uh, Kate and Darrell had gone out and, and fetched us a coffee. Yeah. Bless them. And that that was just such a, a lovely touch. And then then we decided to go for a bit of a brunch with with them and Secret Stag and Secret Vixen. Yeah, that was really lovely. And we just sort of all decompressed, all kind of went through the gossip of what we saw and what we didn't see of the night before kind of all the things that went on what mm. we thought worked really well and 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 what we could do to improve things and that was just a really nice decompression before the bloody long journey home and you know mm. I appreciate that we had a couple of hours to to get home uh, Kate and Daryl had to fly out, fly back to <laughs> to the Netherlands and and secret stag and vixen had a, a equally as long journey so it was quite a, a a nice moment to just again breathe kind of Take a take a look through the the, the, the night before and mm. the day, and and then just head on our way way home. So, with that in mind, what, what what do you think worked well? What what went well about it, dear? A lot of people turned up. <laughs> <laughs> um, more than enough people turned up to make me feel like the club was well populated by our guests. Yeah, it felt really it felt like nicely a really busy. Good number of people in there. It was buzzy. It was it was tons of people, and I. 
I didn't ever look around and think, oh, crap, I hope born people turn up. This is really bad. So enough people turned up that made it really, really full of our, our guests, which made me super happy that it was so well attended and everyone wanted to be there. I was also really, really, really touched to see so many people looking forward to seeing each other once, once they got there because they'd made some connections in advance. Yeah. And it was plain to see how well everyone was getting on. Yeah. And I think that struck me about all, all of the socials, play, but whatever. We've, we've seen people make connections and then meet for the first time or reconnect and you just think, oh, this is why we do it. Yeah. How amazing is this that all these people are here? Because they've been given the opportunity to, you know, literally come together again. I think, so that went really well. I think, I think that was fantastic. And mm. certainly the, there was a recurring people that had been to previous events, but also people that just got to know each other on, on the, the Discord that we have in advance of that. And like you say, what's been lovely is that following the event, they've stayed in touch. Mm. People are catching up with each other. They've made good friends. Yeah. So I think the crowd was, was, was really fantastic. I'd say... You know, Vanilla Alternative did a really good job helping us on the night. They were really good getting people through the door. Mm. They weren't arsy about stuff. They really helped everyone. They gave the tours. They, um, the cocktails were great. Yeah, and drinks, was everything lovely. was really done really nicely. The food was great. So a massive, massive thank you to them. And a huge thank you to all of our guests. And because, everyone looked amazing as well. Oh, yeah. Everyone had put in a real effort. And mm. I, I, it's, it's a really strange thing because... One of our channels or threads, or whatever you want to call it in the Discord, is around what, what are you wearing? And we always like to do these just to help people kind of get their, their heads around what they want to wear, what they're going to look like and all this kind of stuff. And they love chatting about it. I'm really aware that creates additional pressure for people. And, and some people take it very seriously. <laughs> Not unless you're Penny Lane. <laughs> well, you, you know. Just... I'm just going to wear everyone else's wear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know, I can't fault her dress choice because why thank you because i got that dress for you so there is <laughs> you know there's there's definitely a good selection there i think you know it, it's one of those things where i think people can can over worry about it but actually once they've got their heads around around some of the key information and kind of what people are going to be wearing and all this sort of stuff they just get on make a great effort and they just relax into it and for many people it was their first ever visit to a swinging club and they really enjoyed it. They really loved it. And they, the feedback has been really positive. So I, I, I can't fault that. Mm. In terms of stuff that I, I would do differently, though, I mean, it's, it, it's tricky because I, I think the, having the social time before we opened up to the rest of the club really helped. Definitely. I, I, I really liked that. Whether we'd need more time for people or not, I don't know. I think there's always going to be, you're, you're playing to different levels of experience, aren't you, in any group gathering like that. And there's some people who just couldn't wait to get there and connect with people physically. But then there's always going to be people who actually are just really happy to sit there for a few hours or more and just observe and not actually yeah. do anything. So I don't really, I don't really think that was an issue. I think it was about right. I think the, the difficulty is, is that I want to talk to everybody. I want to make mm. sure everyone's having a really good time. I want to spend the time with the people that have either come along to, to either see us or be part of the crowd or, or whatever it is that they're there to do. I want to make sure that they get their, that the value of, if there is any value to be had in talking to us. And it's impossible to do it. You it just is impossible. cannot do it. And I'm always left disappointed. Mm. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't speak to this person very much. I didn't get a chance to chat with them. And, and to be honest, I could probably, or we could probably sit the whole night just chatting to people and still not get around everybody and, and have not an evening for ourselves. So there is a balance to be had. And I think we've got that broadly right. But I always come away thinking, oh, I wish, I'd, wish we'd had more time to chat to those people. Exactly. And that's where that social element is, is, you know, is important. But equally, looking back at our other events, we always say the same thing in that. You know, we wish we'd managed to, to speak to everybody in yeah. equal measure, but you can't. And, you know, we'll just have to do another event. Oh, yeah, I'm and sure. And make sure that we speak to not everyone again. <laughs> well, that's the thing. So, you know, we're now looking at um, another event and, and, and seeing what we can do about that. Hopefully we'll have some news about that in the next couple mm. of weeks. Fingers crossed that all comes yes. together uh, again. Yes. Ah, uh, hints. Uh, <laughs> But I think we're going to we're going to see what's what's available and what we can do and what the timings are like. And if you've been to one of our events before and you're on the uh, Keep in Touch Discord, then you can actually find out about what we're planning. You can get some insight and you can vote on dates and that kind of stuff. So that's always useful. 
I think that's kind of good to get a sense of what what we can and what we can't do. And the frustration is, you know, like we've said recently, is you're never going to be able to give everyone a date that pleases everyone. No, and that's not just the sad reality that you just won't always be able to have everybody that you want. There. I mean, some of the dates we can't even go to. I know. How to get <laughs> get some stand-ins, some delegates. I know. We'll get some get some, some cut decoys. Out of yeah, exactly. Some life models. Some life decoys. <laughs> So I, I think that's going to be the next challenge is kind of getting that sorted out. See, the next big thing for us in a couple of weeks is PCAP. So we're going to... It's 17 days. 17 days oh, at, at the point of recording point this. Of this. Yeah, so we've got to run around. We've got flights booked, which is great. Uh, yes, we've got a I whole host of flights. stuff. I have done that. <laughs> yeah, and we've recorded this episode over the course of, of two nights. So, you know, even in the space of that, we've managed to get I've flights. more stuff. And we've got managed to get... <laughs> some costume like, bits sorted out and we managed to get some other bits and bobs sorted. So mm. it's, it's all, all go, coming go, together. Go now, isn't it? And I cannot wait to get out to, to Palm Springs and take a look around and meet some amazing people that are on the other side of the ocean. It's going to be super exciting. It's going to be super. Yeah. So as we mentioned before, next week we're going to be talking, or next week or next edition, next episode, we're going to be talking about a trip to Le Boudoir. Oh, yeah. Which we did. And there's going to be some sexy stuff in there. Okay. <laughs> in there's, the episode or in the boudoir? Maybe. Bit of both. Bit of both. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about that and giving a bit of a review of, of their, I say new venue, but the place. Well, the one that we hadn't been to yeah, before. The, the new one that, that, that replaced the yes. old one that we haven't been to because of yeah. pandemic, etc. Exactly. So we're going to be talking about that. So if you've got any questions about Le Boudoir, send them our way and we'll be happy to, to answer that. If you want to see what Le Boudoir looks like, uh, Kate did a fantastic uh, video on YouTube. So mm. go and check that out. Wanderlust Swingers. And really, Mrs. H, I think it's time for you to do your thing. Well, thank you for hopping into our bed. Yeah, okay. You sure you know what you're doing? <clears throat> yeah. No, it's only been 129 episodes, right? Yeah. 129. This is 129. <laughs> you got one job, Mrs. H. What's the podcast? Got one shot, one opportunity. <laughs> you're going to capture it and you're going to let it slip. All right, okay. Dun, 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 Doesn't sound like Jaws. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it does <doesn't> fit. <laughs> What <laughs> you're doing is waving your hands around like, I don't know, some what, mad you, person. You mean people can't hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Just, ah, I'm going to do jazz hands for a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just turn up normally. <laughs> yeah, so, well, you, one you can intro. I think you've introed others before, but you can do this one. All right, fine. All right.